is inverting bad for your body? This is a common question that I hear. I see a lot of people not wanting to invert because they don't want to risk injuring themselves. And I'm just, uh, as, a, as a physiotherapist, I'm just answering, is that uh, correct? Well, uh, I think that the answer is it depends. There is a way to invert safely and there is certainly ways you can invert that will be likely to cause injury and it does rely somewhat on mobility so I think everyone has the capacity to get the mobility to be able to invert without it being a uh, detrimental thing for their body uh, but if you don't have that mobility it, it could be a bad idea so let's just have a look at what is the danger of doing an invert so when, when I say invert we're kind of spinning underneath like this okay so Probably the two main things we're worried about are our neck and our back. Usually lower back or, or neck are gonna be the things we're going to potentially injure if it's done wrong. So first off, the well, let's, let's actually first look at what mobility will, uh, will help with our invert. And one of the main things is going to actually be the hamstring. And I'd say that's the, probably the biggest thing you want to be stretching. So, if I have good hamstring mobility, that's basically my ability to pull my knee to my chest and also my foot back like this, okay? So if we just look at me going essentially into a stacked position, if I can put my foot to the mat, that stop, I don't have to lift my hips anymore. That means I've got good hamstring flexibility and that can kind of stop me getting put into more of a stack. The less I can bend my leg back, so if I'm more like this, the more when I come back, I get pressure on my neck and I also have to bend my lower back more so that the, basically the more you're going to have to move through your or put weight on your neck and the more you're going to have to bend through your lower back the more risk there is of injury if you're really flexible through your hamstring I'm not quite there but um, you know if we were here and I put my foot to the ground my back barely has to bend okay the more I have to lift it up the more strain goes on the back and definitely if I'm getting to the point where my, my head's taking weight that's an issue okay so Make sure you're stretching your hamstrings. I'm, I'm reasonably flexible now. That's something I worked on. It's not something that um, that I was just born with. You actually have to actively do stretches and it allows you to expand your game and invert because it is a crucial movement to do. So as a general test for now, I would say if you put your feet to the ground and you feel like you cannot lift your head off the ground. See, I can lift my head off the ground here. That means I my neck's not taking strain. If, for example, let's say if I don't have that hamstring flexibility and I put my feet to the ground now and I can't lift my head up, now my neck is taking pressure and that's gonna be a dangerous thing. If, I, if I'm inverting a lot with weight on my head, that's where my neck can potentially get injured and it probably means there's gonna be back strain as well. So, uh, the other thing I wanna talk about with inverting is it's a lot of the injuries actually come from trying to force it when it's not really there, you know, and getting stuck there. If you an invert done well, you kind of spin through and you get out of position. You never actually take weight when you're in that stacked position. A lot of the time people will try to invert, get stacked and then stay here and that's a problem. Trying to fight out of an invert by pushing actually puts a lot more strain. For example, on my lower back here, if I'm inverted and stuck and I push up, this is all my back muscles working from a fully flexed position. This is actually probably the worst thing you can do in terms of loading on your back. You're fully flexed, potentially rotated as well, and you're pushing against that, adding a lot of compressive load. If you're there, you're, up, you're much better off to try to relax and accept and move out of the position than to try to fight the stack. Okay, so don't fight the stack. Same thing on your neck. If you're here and you're trying to push back against it, it often means their weight actually comes down and compresses your neck more. If you're able to turn your head away and roll through, you can save yourself from being injured. So in summary, if you can do a lot of stretches, a lot of hamstring stretches, so being able to touch your, your toes, and I'd aim to get quite good with that, being able to pull your knee to your chest with your other leg straight and extending up like this, it's gonna take a lot of stress off your back and your neck, and being able to invert should be a, a pretty safe thing to do for your game, as long as you're willing to accept when you're getting put in bad positions and be willing to kind of give up the stack position 